now that the 3.5 mm headphone jack is officially dead and a lot more people are starting to accept in-ear truly wireless earphones, we put head-to-head -head Apple's AirPods Pro and the newly launched Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. How well do they fare against each other and what all points set them apart? We're going to find out in this video. My name is Bharat Nagpal, you're watching iGyan and if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button with all notifications turned on so that you get notified each time a new tech video goes up. Let's get started. Right off the bat, the first thing I want to discuss is price. The Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro are priced at Rs 15,990 and this is almost a 10,000 rupee price difference from the Apple AirPods Pro which cost 25,000 rupees. If you look at the design and the size of the earbuds, there's also quite a bit of difference. If you look at the case itself, while the case of the AirPods Pro is bigger and slightly longer, it is thinner in terms of its depth, whereas uh, the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro have a more compact case, which means that it'll fit into more places nicely, but bear in mind, it is slightly thicker. Build quality on both of these is uh, really good. And while Samsung offers uh, various colors, including a black, this silver chrome finish that we have over here, and a new purple finish, the AirPods Pro are just available in the white that we've been seeing from the first generation of the AirPods. This means that uh, if you do want options for your color or design, uh, the Samsung Galaxy Buds do offer that up and uh, whereas the AirPods are only available in the white and if you don't like white earbuds, uh, then you don't really have any other option. Another big difference with respect to design is uh, the overall shape of the earphone itself. So if you look at the AirPods Pro, they do have the stem which is synonymous with AirPods. And while it has become more widely accepted since the launch of the AirPods and several other competitors, I feel the Samsung Galaxy Buds do have a more compact design and it's completely in-ear with no stem whatsoever. So if you are somebody who listens to music a lot and has these in their ears a lot, I think this one is more broadly appealing and it doesn't stick out as much as the AirPods Pro. Now both the Apple AirPods Pro and the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro have replaceable ear tips which is excellent. So you can swap out whatever size fits your ear the best and that offers a better fit in all of uh, these earphones. But more importantly, uh, the locking mechanism in both of them is quite robust. Uh, Samsung has included a newer system that allows the ear tips uh, to be plugged in in the right way whereas Apple does offer this reassuring lock system uh, that sort of clicks the ear tips into place and they don't fall out as easily as they might do with some other earphones when they get sweaty. As far as functionality is concerned, both of these offer quite similar functionalities, but there are few differences as well. So for the AirPods Pro, if you want to control the settings, you want to turn on noise cancellation or transparency, or you want to go through some of the feature sets uh, that are available, you can jump into the settings app and uh, go into the AirPods Pro settings. And with that, you can turn on or off transparency. And then you can control some other features, including whether or not you want Siri, whether you want the left ear tip to control Siri, or the right ear tip to control noise cancellation. So that's a really good feature. And uh, all of those settings are easily controllable directly from the settings app on the iPhone. But these features are not available if you connect to a non-Apple device. So that is something that does seem to miss out, but there are third-party apps that allow you to control these settings from an Android device, so to speak. So if you do want to control some settings of your AirPods and you want to buy the AirPods for an Android device, it can work, but Apple officially natively does not support most of the features that are available. For the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro, the functionality is primarily the same. You have to use the Samsung Galaxy Wearables app and with that you can control all the features that are available on the Buds and you can also control sound profiles and we'll get into that a little bit more later. Uh, but you do have a bunch of noise cancelling features that can be controlled from the app and uh, you can turn on or turn off features from that app, but that functionality is not available on iOS side of things. Even though Samsung does have an app that supported previous generation of Buds, which means that the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro might show up in the coming weeks on the app. But for now, as it stands, both of these offer the settings capability in their own respective platforms. 
Now, the Galaxy Buds offer up active noise cancellation, much like the AirPods Pro, and the active noise cancellation works really well, and it does mute out a lot of uh, the ambient sound that you may get. But you can also go into the ambient sound mode and enable that sound and it does amplify your voice as well. So when you're talking to somebody, you'll hear a very loud amplified version of your surroundings. So it's a really enhanced version of uh, the transparency mode that you see on the AirPods Pro. You do get that in the Galaxy Buds Pro as well. Another cool feature that's only on the Galaxy Buds Pro is uh, the voice detect feature. In this, if you do have the active noise cancellation turned on and you start speaking to somebody, it automatically detects human voice and it automatically turns off noise cancellation for the period that you're talking. And the minute you stop talking and the minute it stops detecting or hearing human voice, uh, it will actively turn on noise cancellation again. This is a really cool feature and I wish more earphones with noise cancellation had this and uh, you can turn this on again from the wearables app. The app also offers some additional functionality if uh, you would like to customize things. You can block accidental touches and you do have an equalizer which allows you to choose from five uh, differently set profiles but you can't custom set an equalizer profile for your own listening preference. So you do have to use one of their pre-made ones. You do also have the ability to find your earbuds if you want to do that. And then you also have a gaming mode. On the AirPods Pro, the functionality is quite similar, but you do have lesser features. So of course you don't have the automatic voice detection feature that's only on the Galaxy Buds Pro. But both of these do offer up automatic ear detection, uh, which uh, the AirPods Pro uh, did start off with. Both these earphones also offer up 360 degree sound, whereas Apple calls it spatial audio. And it's completely different on the AirPods Pro because it pairs up with iOS devices that have uh, spatial audio enabled video files or content available. So if you're watching a show on Apple TV or watching a movie that you've bought on uh, the movie store, you will be able to get that spatial audio feature sort of in a very nice capability. Whereas on uh, the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro, it's a 360 degree sound. So uh, you do get more like a surround sound capability versus a spatial audio capability. So it's uh, different with respect to the feature set that they offer. Now, if you do want to set profiles for the AirPods Pro, you can do that, but it's not there in the app and it's not very easy. You have to go into your settings and then go into your music settings. And then you have to change uh, the equalization profile of the music app. Now, if you're listening to something like Spotify on your AirPods Pro, that will not change the equalization options for that. It'll only change it for the Apple Music app. Speaking of sound on your earphones, the Apple AirPods Pro have a really nice, well-defined sound profile. And this is one of the best earphones that you can get, especially in this price category. They have a really well-tuned sound profile. And like I said, you can customize some of it by using some of the profiles that Apple has been giving with the iPhone for many years, but they only work with the music app. With itself, uh, the AirPods Pro have a really good, well-defined baseline as well as clear mid-tones and high notes. It's really good for vocal music as well as for bassy or instrument heavy music. And the AirPods Pro do offer up a good balance of music and voice call capability because of the way the sound profile has been designed. The Galaxy Buds match up really well with this. The Galaxy Buds Pro offer up a really good sound profile as well. And you do have some more customizations for the Buds themselves. So once you do make those profile customizations, they apply to the Buds throughout whatever app you use. So you do have slightly more versatility as far as the audio profile settings are concerned. So if you do want something bass heavy, you can switch a profile and then everything will be bass heavy. This does come into effect in your voice calls as well. So you want to go back and change the profile back to normal if you're trying to do some voice calls with the Galaxy Buds Pro. These also offer up some similar capabilities. So if you're trying to pair both these earphones, all you have to do is open up the case and uh, they automatically get detected on Samsung devices, the Galaxy Buds Pro and the AirPods Pro get detected on iOS devices. And then every time you do connect, you get your battery information on the screen as well. So they do offer up similar functionalities and uh, they can be charged multiple times in the case as well. 
and both these earphones offer up uh, really quick fast charging. So they are matched a lot in certain features like I mentioned in the beginning of this video and the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro do have that extra automatic voice detect feature and some equalization capabilities and also in the near future the capability of being easily connectable between Android devices as well as iOS devices once they do update the app. For the AirPods Pro, you can connect between any iCloud device automatically and it does seamlessly switch between your devices, which does make it an extra feature for somebody who owns a lot of Apple devices. So the AirPods Pro do fit into that. And if you do own an Android phone, like I said, you can get a third party app that allows you to control all those features. For a price that is about 10,000 rupees cheaper than the AirPods Pro and some extra features, the Galaxy Buds Pro are definitely looking promising. Which one of the two is your favorite? Let us know in the comment section below. We we'll leave links to buying both of these in the description below as well. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon with all notifications turned on. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.